Hello, this is a note on using QTVLM simulation mode. Uh, simulation mode, a very exciting part of the program. And um, uh, this will be maybe in a couple parts. I want to first get it set up and running. And we'll be using, uh, using maybe parts of the program you haven't used before. Uh, not to worry, nothing can get broken. If something doesn't work, we just stop close it down, start over again, not to worry. Uh, and the main idea is just to start practicing with it. And there's a lot of amazing things, uh, amazing things to learn um, and to practice with. So first of all, the instruments are set up here the way I want them just for now. And uh, there is a video, we just posted a video not long ago about how to set up instruments, how to choose which ones you want to show and set them up. That we need there. Then, uh, then what we want to do, the next thing you want to do is you want to choose where do you want to do this. Right now this boat's here in, uh, in the Shoshol Bay Marina, but let's say I want to practice up around Protection Island. So I can get the Protection Island, I'll just do Command F, P R O T E C T I O N, Protection Island, that should be enough, yeah, Protection Island. You see, that's a nice feature. So we're getting up there. Here's Protection Island, and uh, let's just say we're going to. We're going to work in this area right here. So we, now we, we've got to where we want to be to run the simulation. Now we've got to put our boat here. So let's just come here, uh, move boat here. Okay, so we got our boat. Now we want to, and now we want to do the simulation. Now, and um, so we have notes on this other places, but remember this, this program is focused on a, a sailboat navigation. So even if you're a power boater, uh, we've got to always uh, have uh, the equipment or the, the setup uh, in place for doing sailboat navigation. So what that means is a couple things. First, we need a, a polar diagram. And so um, you need a polar diagram. Now let's just see. We go uh, boat. Uh, boat settings. And there is, this comes, this already installed. We're just checking it. Polar. Now this one, actually the default one that will show up is this one. Boat class, a 40 footer. A 40 footer. And let's, let's just leave that for now at the default. I had somehow changed that. And we don't need to worry about any of this for now. We just, we're just doing that and just, you're, you would actually just be going there and seeing that it's really there and you're done. You're not actually doing anything. If you want to look at the polar, then you go a different place. You would hit boat and then go down to polars and wind polar analysis and then maybe turn on all winds. And this shows the performance of the boat. So let me, let me just go back to one wind. Okay, let's go down to say like like fifth, you know, tw here's 12 knots of wind. So at 12 knots of wind, this is your the performance of your boat. That means that if it's the wind speed is 12 knots and the true wind angle is 60 degrees, then you should be going, this is eight, eight and a half, you should be going about nine knots. Oh, pretty fast actually. That's a kind of a reach. Anyway, on a 40 footer, well, I guess that's a 40 footer. I didn't, I have to, boat class 40. I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm assuming it's about a typical 40 footer, fast 40 footer. So that would be going that speed. Then if the wind speed were lower, like you're going seven knots and then you're at this 60, then you're down here at a, at a speed like seven. So this means, this is telling you how for a given wind speed, uh, for a given wind speed, how fast the boat's going to go, and you and you can't uh, you can't control that if you're under sail. Now we can always turn the engine on. So that's a that's the next thing we want to do. Why don't we look at what the default engine speed is? And if you go to boat uh, boat settings, and then you go to engine. Here we have this is what we're looking at now, and this says here if the engine. If the wind speed when you're sailing is less than, you know, not the wind speed, the boat speed. If your boat speed when you're sailing is becomes less than four knots, then you're going to turn the engine on automatically and you'll be, and the engine speed's going to be seven. So seven's your default speed. Let's say we're going to sail a little slower than that. Let's say if the boat goes three knots. If we can only go three knots with the sailing or 3.5, we're still going to sail along there and keep going. But uh, if we drop below three, we'll turn the engine on and it'll be seven. Now, once we turn the simulator on, we can change all of that. We can override all of that. We can override that. 
but this is the default. This is a default setting here, and so that that's that. So we've uh, we've set that up, and we got a polar now, and we got our boat in place. Now we're going to need wind. So I would, and so we're going to load wind into this area, and they have a very nice, quick way to do that. Uh, first of all, I would go up here to Grib and close all Gribs. Just in case you have something in the background you've loaded, you've been practicing with or something. Let's just close out anything we've been doing in the previous life here and close all Gribs. I didn't have, it looks like I didn't have anything. All right, so now, and the easiest way in the world here is just go to load some wind. And again, we can do, we're going to do most of our practice under power, but let's look at sail as well. Um, so let's go up here, and there's this icon here, and I would press and hold it. I've already got it at the right place, but if you press and hold it, you, I want to go to this one, download partial VLM grip. Now that's just a trick play in a sense, so you, you do that, and that's going to load in five days of wind in this area. Now again, I can be a power boat and just shut that, dis disregard it, not even pay attention that it's there, or I can know that there's wind there. And it looks like the wind is light and out of the, well, you read it down here in the status bar, the wind right here is like four knots out of, you know, from the southeast, like that. And then you can go up to this clock and decide what, you know, because these are all the, uh, these are all the winds that were loaded. You know, it started out Monday at 23, oh, Pacific Daylight Time. Ah, huh. Okay, well, I have this set. Let, let's just do this. Let me go back here. I'm going to, preferences. I want to, I think we're better off here. Units and language. Let's go to UTC. Go to UTC. Okay, so we're on a UTC now, and so when you're dealing with the winds, it's a little. Sometimes it's a lot. It's a lot easier uh, to look, to look at this in terms of UTC because you see then you see the when the actual cal uh, forecast is for and so forth better. All right, so we have wind all the way from like six UTC. Now, what's the exact UTC now? It's like 1,500, so uh, it's almost 1,600. So this is uh, the latest wind is pretty old here right now, but this is the latest available. And this goes all the way down uh, to there. So we're, we've got our wind. That's all we need on that. Let's see. Um, now, when we turn on the simulation, okay, I can turn on the simulation now. And you can turn the simulation on a couple ways. And when we turn, keep in mind, when we turn the simulation on, the boat is always going to go head to wind. So it's going to flip around here and start going that way because it's sort of like simulating real life when you're putting up the sails or something. So you're going to start out head to wind, and then we're going to have to turn and decide where we want to go. Ah, why don't we decide where we want to go? For now, let me just do this. I'm going to make a pathway, but at this point, I'm just about ready to, to stop, but I'm just going to make a pathway. Uh, let me just create a pathway, uh, simulate, S-I-M-U-L-A, simulate, simulate. Okay, I'll call that pathway simulate, and then I'll just, I'll just put some here, here, and here. Let's just say that's where I want to go, escape. So presumably, I want to go here. And then uh, I can, uh, okay, uh, okay, and so I'll turn on the simulator now. And you turn on the simulator by going up to boat, navigation simulation mode, or you see the keystroke, that's, that is on a Mac, an option S, that would be a, a alt S on a, a PC. So now the simulation mode is on. Oh, and there's other things to set up, but I'm going to come back to that. Here's where you turn. The, here's where you drive the boat. And at this point, I'm just I'm going to drive this boat around here. And you see it's turning, and you see the speeds are reading over here. Here's the speed through the water, and there's no current. We don't have any current turned on, so the, the cog and sog is same as a course through the water and a speed through the water. 
and we can't do much more. We have a track going, but you don't see that until we start going straight. And you can shut that off by just clicking the bottom button. So this boat is underway, and uh, and uh, we're we're simulating. There's I've got to come back and talk a little bit more about the setup. But for now, I want to just stop there. That is just getting the simulator going and uh, instruments reading, and then let's come back to part two, and we'll activate this and start navigating this route under here. And we'll first do it. Uh, we'll first look at. We're under sail now, I believe. How fast are we going? Uh, true wind speed 3.8. Ah, 3.8. So we're we're sailing here. We're sailing. And uh, let me come back. I'm going to stop here and then uh, do another video.